Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I want to show you a couple things today. We might do a little hive inspection here to see how the, the bees are looking. I haven't done one yet this year, so you'll get to experience our very first hive inspection. But I just wanted to show, uh, look at this, the blue pollen feeders that we use. This thing is usually absolutely packed out with a lot of bees and if you notice the bees are kind of dwindling down around this feeder now what's happening is i can assure you they're bringing in pollen from other sources and this happens every single year whenever they start finding their more natural resources they will they will abandon the artificial pollen now we use Ultra Bee, like you've heard me say before, it's the best artificial pollen you can get. But nothing matches nature 100%. So when they get an opportunity to get natural pollen, they will always take the natural pollen always. So that is what's happened. I've checked my red maple tree, it's not bloomed yet. But that doesn't mean that there could be other maple trees in the area that could be. And also I noticed a little while ago, and I'll show that on the video for those of you who hadn't seen it, <clears throat> the hembit. We've got a huge hembit bloom right now and I'll show you what it looks like. Now they're, uh, we, we have the external feeder and they're tearing it up pretty good right now. But uh, let me put it on pause and I'll take you to the spot where there's hembit Maybe we can spot some bees. It, a lot of times it's hard to, to find them on it because like I said, with pollen uh, in the wild, and, and a lot of times it's a feeder, but this is this is about two or three days straight that I've come down here at different times. So uh, my last video, I said, well, it may be the time of day, but it's possible because I'm checking at different times of the day now. So this is about the third time in a row I've come down here and there's not been a whole lot there. So I'm almost positive that they're finding other sources. So let's go check that source out and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm back. I come up here to the upper part of my yard and we have got large amounts of hembit grown this year. And I'm not seeing any bees on it. But like I said, it all depends on the time of day because all flowers are different, and, and bees like to get on pollen a lot of times if ideals are conditioned around 10 a.m. in the morning. After everything dries out a little bit, you'll start seeing bees out till a certain time, and then they just stop for the day. But this patch right here of hembit, you can see it, it just looks like some kind of weed, but it's, it's a, uh, right here's a bee buzzing around me. I'm not seeing any bees at all, but let me get a little close up of the of the flower so you can get an idea of what it looks like. You can see it's got like a very small flower in the purple, kind of violet, violet purple looking. But this patch right here, these are things that you want to start looking for in the springtime. Because if they're bringing in they was bringing in some red pollen last week, and we'll inspect one of those hives going in here and see what color they're bringing in now. Just to give you an idea. I'm not seeing any bees on any of this up here. So we'll go down and look at another spot and see what we see. Okay, here's the red maple tree that I go by every year to keep an eye on. And it's still in in pretty tight in the bud. It, the bud's still pretty tight. There's nothing that I see that's open yet. And this is a tree that I checked yesterday, so I know it wasn't in bloom. But you can see all over the tree, it's, it's budded out really heavy. So, but like I said, that doesn't mean there's not another one. Because once these open up, it's like closed one day and open the next it's not it's pretty quick so it's possible you could come out here tomorrow and this thing's popped out but 
usually weather conditions are just warm enough like they have been this year usually in in about a week or two weeks this should be popped out it just depends so i've been seeing a little bit of uh dandelions bloomed out too but not many not enough for them to stop and bringing in pollen in so let's see what else okay today is uh february 8th three days later and i'm gonna try to clip this onto the video where the other day where i walked around and uh was showing the the hembit and the red maple this is my red maple tree i go by and this thing was in very tight bud it wasn't blooming at all and it's now coming out but it's, it's going to be too cold these next couple days but thinking monday this this thing should be bloomed out really good by monday and it's supposed to be up to 60. you can see right there see how it's it's blooming out uh it's just in spots right now the whole thing of course is not bloomed out it's just starting so possibly tomorrow it's supposed to be 50 but i'm thinking monday and i'll do a short video of that but that's about it i just want to tag this on to the to the end of that video or not to the end of the video the part where i showed the red maple tree and that's it just walking the yard around the yard there for about five minutes i've just seen a handful of dandelions and they're very low to the ground Usually the ones that pop out first are very low to the ground because they kind of avoid the the freeze and the frost just a little bit more. So they're they're uh, pretty low to the ground, but not near enough to for the bees to be bringing in pollen. Right, right here's another one right here. But it's it's a good sign that they're starting to come out and we're starting to see them a little bit. So let's go down and look at one of those hives. Okay, we'll watch this hive here for a second. They definitely got pollen, but they could be coming straight over from that feeder. I'm looking for some red, possibly some hembit. But not really seeing anything like that coming in yet. Sometimes it takes a while before you'll see, but these are coming in. from the direction uh, back towards the hives, back that way, I can watch them coming in. They're coming, they're coming straight over the hives, coming this direction and coming in. So they may not be coming to the uh, pollen feeder. They may be getting this from somewhere else. Just watching the traffic, I, you can see it coming in from that direction, just like a flow of bees coming this way. So it's possible. So we'll check, we'll check a couple other highs here and see what we can see. Okay. You're about to witness the first hive being opened up this year, Barnyard Bees. The very first one, none's been cracked open yet this year. I do have a veil on, by the way. Because I come down here yesterday when I was making that video on the, the mini nukes. One popped me in the lip. And it swelled up on me. <laughs> so I don't want to hit in the mouth again today. That gave me a quick attitude adjustment. Okay. Keep in mind, I'm doing this one-handed. Right here's our bee cluster. It looks pretty good. Pretty heavy. The, the weight, still pretty decent. Still, still got some weight to it. So that is always a good sign. Now, I may have to put this on pause a couple times. I don't have a smoker, so I'm probably going to put it on pause until I can get one of these frames broke loose. Okay, I got one loose. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get it pulled up out of there. I don't know if it's normal or not, but does anybody else talk to the bees or is it just me? Am I the, I don't, the only nut out there like that? I'll catch myself doing that. I'll be sitting here getting ready to pull a frame out and I'll be talking to them and I guess it's better than talking to myself, isn't it? It's still a little bit tight to do this trick here where I... I guess I'm trying to talk them out stinging me. Okay, pulled up slow. 
First thing I see on this outside frame, a lot of honey, which is always a good sign this time of year. See what we got here. Definitely a nice frame of honey, which I expect to see on the outside. This side, the same, lots of honey. I fed them good last year towards the fall and I wanted to make sure that their honey stores were up and strong. So, and not all hives are the same. And that plays a lot of in genetics. You'll have some hives that like to store way too much honey. And then some actually that want to lay way too many eggs and not, not enough honey. So I've seen that and you kind of want a mix really because if, if you get some that builds up not enough honey of course they're not going to be in that good a shape um, this one right here same way it's got uh, not quite too, well it's got uh, not as much honey but it's got it's a heavy frame this side's quite a bit of honey. Now remember this time of year, your population is not gonna be that great. So this is just about normal for a hive time now winter. So far they've not come at me too much yet. They seem pretty, pretty calm so far. But they're good bees. Like I said, I can't brag on these bees enough. Okay, this one right here. You can see they got some pollen. Um, there's some red pollen right there. Yellow right here. If you can hope, Hopefully this shows up right there. See that bright red pollen? Now I'm going to start looking for eggs. And the queen, of course. I see some uncapped brood. Sometimes you blow on them, it'll move them. But you gotta do it just right or you can really anger them. Get them angry. Okay, I'm seeing seeing some eggs right there. There's some eggs. You guys might spot the queen before I do. Okay, let me slowly turn this one over. I'm looking to spot the queen on there. She is right there. Right there in the center. My first queen spot of the year. Right there. Okay. Now I'm going to show you this on film here. One just got me. On the leg. And get the finger out. Okay. Well considering the time of year I only got hit once so far not too bad I won't fib to you when they get me I'll tell you and see it, it's even bad now because the these uh, frames being as tight as they are because they've not been going through yet that first jerk when it releases doesn't make them very happy so they're naturally pretty mad when you do that sometimes but like I said I'm pretty lucky with these they're good bees see a lot of pollen on their legs see some cat brood right there in the center uh, some eggs around it so Now, now here's the thing I want to, uh, that you notice the frame with the pollen on it. Okay. So far, that's the only pollen I've seen on these frames. I'll look again, but I don't think I've seen any on that first one. So keep this in mind. What if we hadn't fed pollen through the winter? You know, when, on days when it's warm and they do their cleansing fight, this right here, 
is packed full of eggs. So that's telling me that they're throttling up. So they most definitely need pollen. And I see a lot of pollen on their legs. Now there's a there's a first hive beetle I've seen right there. But I've only seen one. It was war against them last year uh, in our favor. Because we, we came after, after them with a vengeance because the year before they, they put a toll on us. They really knocked us for a loop and we wasn't ready for it because we've never had high beetle problems before. It was the same year that I had no chickens. Very few chickens. Had to get rid of the chickens. Uh, the neighbors, uh, they was getting into the neighbor stuff and had to get rid of them. But they got a, uh, they're, not, they're not causing a problem now. So we have lots of chickens. I'm a big believer, just a little hint out there for somebody who hasn't hear me, heard me talk about this before. Okay, now this, here's some pollen right here. But anyway, sometimes I bounce from subject to subject, sorry about that. But the chickens, if you got opportunity to get chickens, get them because they will work these hives. And what happens, the, the hive beetles, they will uh, lay eggs in the hive. Which is not a big problem when a few high beetles come in like that. They're manageable. But when they reproduce and lay eggs and they hatch and they pupate and they come out and they burr in the ground, they'll come back in numbers like crazy that will overrun your hive and destroy it. Chickens will come by and dig those, dig underneath and eat that larva and eat the hive beetles. They love hive beetles. Uh, I said this story before and I don't know if probably a few of you heard it about the in that chicken pen right there <clears throat> I had a and it, it's it's how I come to find out that chickens like hive beetles and um, this is years ago I had a, a just a bucket of water for the chickens I think it was a uh, I, don't, I don't remember what time of year it was now here's pollen here but when I would pick that bucket up to clean it out, the hive beetles would just take off running. And I was thinking, dang, I didn't know they got into chicken pens like that. But uh, the chickens would chase those things down and eat every single one of them. I thought, wow, they really like those hive beetles. So what I started doing was getting... Laying chickens are okay, but the thing with laying chickens is they're not workers like game chickens are. Game chickens are, or they're, they're more of a wild breed of chicken. And uh, they work harder. They dig their smaller chicken and they'll work under the hives and anywhere for that matter. And they'll work and, and dig under your hives. And it's just to remind everybody, keep your hive bare underneath. Whatever it takes to keep that grass gone because the hive beetles will actually hide into that grass and then uh, birds or uh, chickens can't get to them to eat them. And also try to keep your surface hard just to kind of remind everybody about, about that. So that, that makes a huge, huge difference right there is uh, having chickens and, and we put the beetle barns in there. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a beetle barn is, I'll show you a beetle barn. This one's kind of dirty, but it, it opens up and it's got holes around the side you definitely need some of these if you don't have any beetle barns get you some of these they you can bait these up inside and uh there's different baits out there that that really work well and they will they will knock your numbers way down we have these at barnyardbees.com as well so but anyway that's uh that's pretty much this hive uh what we found out here okay uh the, the frames to the right facing south uh, had honey and there was there was a little bit more pollen as I got to the side but not a lot not a lot so that's why I'm a big believer in pollen because uh, there, some people will tell you don't feed pollen don't feed pollen you don't feed pollen you're gonna starve them out as well because they uh, it's a protein source they need pollen and a lot of people agree with me on that. Some will disagree, but I tell you what, I, we do this every year, and our bees come out winter very, very strong. Okay, here's the, the, the frame with the honey. It's very heavy. 
a lot of honey. It's got plenty of honey for as many bees as it's got in it to easily get us through. Because really, they only, they only have to, this is only going to have to hold them for another couple more weeks. Because as soon as that red maple pops out, we're going to start with the sugar water, two to one. That's what we, like I said in the previous videos, that's what we uh, use as a guideline. Is that, uh, is that red maple. And it could be sooner than I think, because like I said, they're, they're slowing down on that pollen feeder up there. So there's, uh, they're bringing something in. We'll look at a couple more hives here. Uh, I hope y'all don't mind me dragging out the video as long as I have today, but sometimes I get on a roll and there's a few things I want to talk about. Let me put this on pause. I'll get my frame back in and I'll get back with you. Okay, I got that hive put together and I'm on my next hive down here. I'm not going to draw this out too long. I just, uh, when, when I get on the roll, things I need to talk about and try to get out to you, I'm, I'm going to keep rattling on. Uh, I'm just going to look here and see if we can see any pollen coming in. But the, the sun's starting to go down, so, you know, that uh, I know that has a lot to do with the, the bees working the pollen too. But let's go see if some of these are, but I'm almost positive they're bringing in natural pollen as well so if i pick these yellow hives they they show up a little bit better on the camera right there's one that's got a little bit of pollen on her legs hoping to see some red pollen but i haven't really seen any yet here's a blue one let's see what see they've kind of slowed down when you see your bees, see how they're just kind of walking around on the, the entrance now? They've slowed down. When, when they're working, they're, they're a pretty good pace in and out, in and out, in and out. These have slowed down. There may be a few just coming out for cleansing flights now and just taking their time going back in. They're not really on mission of doing anything. You can tell that just by the way they're acting. So the wind's starting to pick up just a little bit. Not bad. It's still nice out. Very nice out. It's one of her little minis. It's not moving right now too much. But, okay. Hoping to see some, but I'm not seeing it. But like I said, there's, there's a little bit right there, but no red pollen. Okay. So that's about it. I'm not going to bore you anymore. That's, uh, that's about all I'm going to show you today. That's all I can really... Uh, do i'm glad we got it i'm glad you got to go through the first hive inspection with me that's honestly the first hive i went through this year and you got to see me go through it firsthand so february 3rd yesterday was groundhog's day i don't even know if groundhog seen shatter or not never did here i usually don't pay attention but uh that's about it folks if you need uh if you need packages nukes this year we have tons of them uh put your order in uh they're going fast i mean they're going really fast so hurry up if you if you hadn't ordered your bees you better order them now don't wait till later on get your equipment built do some preparations get get your equipment built i said that in the last video just to remind everybody to get on the ball get your stuff done now because you don't want to wait till your bees come and then not have anything built so let's get on the ball let's get them get get our equipment built uh don't forget uh share these videos if, if you'll take these videos, share them on YouTube, on Facebook, anywhere you can share them. Don't forget, click on the little bell. You'll be notified of new and upcoming videos. Like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Barnard Bees.